Now that we've got our text placed into Muse, it's time to start formatting it a little bit to make it look exactly like we want it to look. So in this movie, I'm going to show you the basic text formatting options you have available to you inside of Muse. Let's double click on the About Me page and go back to that same text frame we were working with earlier. And so what I'm going to do is come in here and I'm just going to look around to see what I need to do to this text. And first off, I see there's a couple of different things I need to do. I need to correct some of these formatting issues before I get going. And that's some of the things you'll have to check when you're bringing in text from other applications. Sometimes things just don't translate over well. So in this case, I'm having to replace the apostrophes in some of these areas. But for the most part, it looks pretty good. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start formatting it out a little bit. And I'm going to come up here to the very top, just click to put my cursor right before the H up there at the top, and we'll just hit enter one time to create some space. And I'm going to type out the phrase, about me. And you can type that out in all caps if you want to. You could also just type it out in regular caps, and then you can change the case using the text options inside of Muse. Once you have some text that you want to format, just go ahead and select it. And then from the options bar, you will have several different options available to you to change that text. So for instance here, I can open up the font dropdown and I can change the font of this. And so in this case, I want to change this to Helvetica. And then I'm going to bump up the size quite a bit. Something like 36 should be good. I also want to make sure that this is bold. And then I'm going to go up to the edit menu and I'm going to choose change case and select uppercase. And that's how you can automatically convert that over to uppercase. I also want to change the color a bit. So here's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to go into my colors, and I'm just going to mix up a color here. So something that looks kind of reddish-orange probably would work out nicely here. And you can play around with this and change it to whatever color you think works best for you. It doesn't really matter what the color is. In this case, mine's going to be just a little bit more orange. So I've gone with a RGB value of 248, 143, and 150 right there. And so once you have all that done, just click on the selection tool and what that will do is just allow you to kind of see what you've created and see if that's exactly what you're looking for. And for now, I think that looks pretty good. And so now I'm also going to format this first paragraph right here. I'm not going to format all of the paragraphs right off the bat because maybe there's some things that I want to change about those paragraphs and I want to do that later on down the road. Or maybe I just want to spend the time setting this up once and then easily apply it to the rest without having to remember all the settings. And in which case, we'll use something called styles to do that, which I'll show you how to do later on in this chapter. So in this case, I want to change this to Helvetica, again, to match up there at the top. And then I'm going to also open up this text menu right here, which we haven't seen yet. This is going to look much the same as the text panel you would see in other applications like InDesign or even Illustrator. And so this is where I can change things like tracking. I can change letting and all that stuff. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to increase the letting of this. And let's increase it to about 140%, something like that, making it a little bit more readable. And I may also put a little bit of space before the paragraph right here. So maybe something like five or six points ahead of that. And then if I wanted to, I could also change the color of this. I think maybe sort of a medium gray. It's going to work nice. So let's click away from that. You can kind of see what I'm creating, and it looks pretty good. And so that's the basic options that we have available to us in terms of formatting text. You can select individual words and you can make changes from there. You can also change paragraph styles if you had any character styles, which we'll go over how to create those a little bit later. But for the most part, most of the heavy lifting with this is going to be done up here. And again, if you want to change font size, you do that right here in this little box, or you can use a keyboard shortcut for that as well. And so the keyboard shortcut for changing font size on the Mac is going to be shift command and the greater than or less than sign. So greater than, of course, increases text, less than decreases the size of text. And so it's just shift command and the greater than, less than signs to increase or decrease. On the PC, that's going to be shift control and the greater than or less than signs. And so once you have all of your text formatted the way you like it, just go ahead now and you can save this document out and continue working.